Hi, uh, we're back in the garage. This is uh, going to be a bit of a test on uh, Umar's compressor wheel. This is my balance jig. I don't know whether you've seen it before, but basically, all you need is some aluminium. Don't put any steel in it anywhere. Uh, you, either stainless is okay. St stainless screw at this end or a brass screw would do just as well. I've got the magnet just glued to it with epoxy. Magnet this side glued with epoxy. Uh, on these magnets, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a thin bit of brass shim. That's just to protect the end from getting damaged on the hard magnet. That's just stuck on with epoxy. So this is a this is a shaft that's made um, to fit the compressor wheel. Uh, eight mm there. It's got to be something like 3.7 at this end to clear through the spinner on the wooden compressor wheel. So I'll just push it on the wheel and I'll give it a look see. Now it's a bit tight, it could do with spin uh, emerging down a bit more, it's a bit tight on the diameter but we're, we're just going to give it a look anyway. Um, so there we are. Now, this, even though it's it's supported on magnets and brass, it sometimes helps when you're spinning it. If you just give it a light tap, it just gets rid of that last bit of friction, and you might see it wants to see whether we've got an heavy end or not. But I'll spin it again. As it starts to slow down, if you just tap it lightly with a pencil or a pen or whatever, it just gets rid of any last bit of friction and it does look fairly balanced. This is only really a first attempt at balancing it because um, you've got to do it on the shaft anyway. The shaft isn't going to be perfect and the fit on the shaft won't be absolutely perfect. And then obviously when you put it on the shaft and you tie it up things might change because it's only, it's only wood. So I'll just put a little dot and we'll see we're getting some. So that would be the heavy end if it is the heavy end. I'll just put a bit of a mark there on that bit and we'll see whether it sometimes it helps if you if you keep the magnets very close to one another you don't want any load on it you still want to be able to do that a bit but if you if to, it's better if it's almost pulling off with the other magnet yeah but you don't want it touching all the time That's it. Just a little bit of gap. So we'll spin it again and we'll see what happens. Obviously it should start rocking around. If there's a heavy spot on it, it should start rocking around. It looks like there's an heavy point there, doesn't it? So what I would do, I use I use blue tack. You get a little bit of blue tack. Obviously you can vary the size of the blue tack and the distance out from the centre, so we'll just put it there. It's probably way too much. And we thought we thought the heavy end might be here. This is only just show you rough what it rough demonstration is.
Yeah, so it's still. I haven't quite put enough on. I'll try another piece. Obviously when you found it's balanced then what you've got to do is, is put some epoxy or super glue. Whatever you've made this wheel with, covered it with, some people epoxy them, some people epoxy resin or some people uh, super glue them and then um, to get the carbon windings on. So you're better using whatever is already there. See, I've just put a bit too much weight on now, haven't I? But you get the idea there. Then I think what I'll do is take a bit off that first bit I put on. I'm not going to do it all because it's, uh, I don't know whether he's going to get rid of it. There's a label on for the RP, laser RPM measurement, and um, that I don't think that'll stay on. I think. I think that'll get blown away. Let's see which one goes to the bottom. You almost get to the point where you need to put another bit of weight on somewhere else. Try a really small bit up here. Let's go with this. It's only just to show you really. Play for hours doing this. Spin it again, see where it stops somewhere different. Yeah, spin it again. We're right in here, aren't we? If it stops in different places, then you know you're getting somewhere. This is only to give you an approximation of where the weight you'd have to put on. So, obviously, when you put when you add the weight here, you'll have to take these bits off and then you go through the same process again. Um, but it, it is a little bit out at the moment, as you can see, I've had to put quite a bit of weight on. It's quite a big blob, even though blue tack doesn't weigh much, it's still... Yeah, I might have added a bit too much there. But it's that when you start putting the glue on, or the epoxy on uh, a super glue, thick super glue, or something like that. That's when you've got to really get get down to. Anyway, you're better doing that than trying to take anything off, because obviously, if you take anything off, um, you weaken the wheel. Now, I was, I was just going to give you a little bit, a few more tips here. Make sure you use one milli plywood. Uh, Umar has done. Uh, never safe the blades. The blades. So, there is some size you can get which is only like 0.8 plywood but Umar's got near enough one milli so that's that's good um, this in the book it's 7.2 that's optimal that um, this has gone a little bit big so just be careful of your gap you don't want to you definitely don't want to be any bigger than seven and a half uh, you can get problems what you can get is the airflow starts feeding back in the wheel at higher pressure so um, keep this gap here to less than seven and a half. It's about it's about it varies a bit. It's bound to its plywood. It's like seven point four, seven point five. I've I've been round a few times. 
so that's it, that's balancing the wheel. I'll take it off because like I say that that sticker's flapping away now, so that's not gonna stay on. I don't know. I've tried in the past and I've never had much success. Um well you could stick it on uh put something over it, I don't know, but there's it's a lot of force, a lot of very good in there. Okay. So that was a quick look at balancing. That's only the static balance. You still probably better just checking it if your fingers are good enough by putting it on the shaft and all in the bearing but if the shaft is perfect and straight this will be very close once you get the wheel like this okay bye for now